So check this out, right? Welcome back to Nets Republic. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that shenanigans, right? Check this out. So the game's getting away from us. We're not playing any defense, right? No one can seem to hit a shot except for Mikel Bridges, right? He, he's finna drop 40 points again, right? 40 plus. And so um, no one's hitting a shot except for him. Then Cam Thomas checks back in to close the third quarter, basically. We're, we're, we're down a consistent 20, right? Fourth quarter starts. Cam Thomas is still in, so it's Cam and Mikel, right? Jay is chilling. Hey, Cam is chilling. Hey, what more can I say? You, you feel me? The two of them are doing their thing. They're scoring. They're 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 doing what they need to do. Finally, Cam Thomas is getting a chance to show what he can do, and Mikel Bridges is actually showing up for work for a change. So we're witnessing a offensive masterclass, and I'm sitting there like. Are they just going to pull a Kevin Durant and Kyrie and just outscore us back into the game? I'm sitting there trying to figure out how they're going to do it. But again, we're not really playing much defense. So I'm like, uh, how are we going to make this work? What cool moves are they going to do? Then almost as if an act of Satan himself, this man Jacques Vaughn says, okay, we got enough scoring. We just need some defense. I know. Let's put Patty Mills in the game. I'm sitting there like there's no way Jacques is going to do this. So he's, I, 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 I poop you not. I poop you not. This man Jacques Vaughn for a majority of the fourth quarter had Spencer Dinwiddie, Patty Mills, Cam Thomas, Mikel Bridges, and Claxton. Then takes Claxton out, right? Let me not fast forward and spoil it. Let me tell you what he did. So I see Watanabe coming in. So I'm saying, okay, that makes sense, right? You're not going to play Finney Smith again. I'm not going to complain. We need the size. You know, Royce O'Neal's not out there tonight, but it is what it is, right? So I'm thinking Watanabe's coming in, right? to add more, more depth because we got Mikel at the four, right? We're having trouble guarding in the paint because they're just destroying us because we have basically four guards in Claxton. So I'm like, it, 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 it has to be, what has to be going on is, 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 is Watanabe's coming in for more size so Mikel can go back to the three, Cam Thomas can go back to the two, and Patty Mills can sit on the bench. No, he comes in for Claxton. We need help on the interior to stop them from getting to the paint, and you take out Claxton to keep Patty Mills in the game. You can't even make this stuff up. Jacques Vaughn should be behind bars. Now, obviously, it was looking like we were finna lose anyway, but there is just no excuse for substitution patterns like this. It just doesn't make any sense. I understand you don't have Seth Curry. I understand you don't have Sumner because he got hurt. But let's not act like Sumner has been a part of the rotation. You just let him play for the first time in two months as it is, but that's not a year to I understand you don't have Royce O'Neal, I get it. But if you need more size, if you need more help down low, you have Finney Smith, who I'm not saying deserves minutes, but if the issue is we need interior help, why do you leave Patty Mills in the game for so long and, 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 and you got Mikel at the four when we need help down low? I just don't understand it. And you take Claxton out, it just doesn't make sense. When you got that seven foot dude sitting on the bench, not doing nothing. I mean, he's got options. Why would you put Patty Mills in when we're having issues defensively? And I'll play devil's advocate with you. You already got Cam Thomas out there who's not playing any defense, but at least he's hitting a shot. So you just kind of like get what you're getting. You don't pitch a fit type shenanigans here. So you already got Cam Thomas out there who's not gonna play any defense. Why would you insert Patty Mills? Is there like some contract that says he has to play a certain amount of games? Does he have an Orlando clause or something like that? Why, why is he even in there to begin with? It just doesn't make any sense. And I'm not even sure what he did. It's not like he ran point. You basically had Cam Thomas running point again, which again is so beyond me because if he is a shooting guard and all he does is hoop and ball and score, what do you got him trying to run the point for? So you got Patty Mills as shooting guard getting cooked defensively and then not even sniffing the ball on the other. And, and I get Mikel had a really good night, 
but Mikel was shooting that ball something fierce. I'm talking old school back in the day, sever the bond, uh, 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 type skits and 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 and, and that type the the the, the sketch nature. We are gonna take it back to Kristaps Porzingis. I shoot the ball. This man threw up at least 45 shots tonight, at least one of the most efficient. 40 points I've ever seen in my life, but this man just shoots the ball over and over and over and over and over, which again, I commend him for trying. That's the type of stuff we need from him because there will be too many times where he will just disappear. But my God, my God, Jacques. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying they would have won. We were down by quite a bit, but just imagine what would have happened. And it was a close-ish game when Jacques Vaughn pulled the plug. I mean, we were down like, what? 12 maybe? And I know that sounds like a lot, but you don't understand what was happening on the court. I'm talking the combined superpowers of Mikel Bridges and Cam Thomas coming together. It was everything I had been asking for. You have, again, again, just listen to this lineup for a second and we'll pretend like Patty Mills wasn't out there. I'll replace him with someone else. Let's say hypothetically that lineup was, right? Let's say it was Spencer Dinwiddie, it was Cam Thomas, Mikel Bridges, Royce O'Neal, and Claxton, right? Let's say it was that. That is everything I have ever asked for. That is all I want. Everyone's always wanting seventh ball. What do you want from them? That is what I want. We were finally getting it. Again, we're going to ignore the fact that Patty Mills was out there and Royce and it was hurt. But we were finally getting some semblance of that. And we were finally seeing what happens when you let that man, Cam Thomas, run loose. Hulkamania was running wild. And then you just pull the plug. And, and, and for what? I'm not sure. For what? I don't understand. Because... It's not like we have another game tomorrow. It's not like we have another game on Thursday or Tuesday. We don't play again till Wednesday. And it's the Rockets. This was such an easy stretch we were going on. There is no excuse for us losing. And I don't care if they have Markel Fultz. I don't care if they have Cole Anthony. I don't care who they got down there in Orlando. I don't care if Mickey Mouse himself and the dancing brooms from Fantasia were out there. There is no excuse. There's just no excuse to win. And I don't care if it's a back-to-back. -back. They're kids. They're children. They're supposed to be able to have legs for days. So I was already irritated that we were losing, but I'm sitting there watching Jacques Vaughn. It's just, ah, oh, it's, it's such, and, and I think who I'm the angriest at is myself. I'm going to be honest with you, the person I'm angriest with is myself. Because I said I wasn't going to believe in them. I said I wasn't going to get worked up. I said I was just going to leave it alone and just let whatever happens happen. But when I looked at the schedule, let me tell you some behind the scenes type stuff. I had the game recorded and I was going to watch it on tape delay type stuff. If you don't, if you don't know what that means, sometimes old Sever the Bond knows that we're going to have a game and I'll just like record the game on TV type stuff, right? And then I'll go do what I need to do, then come home and then I can fast forward through the commercials, right? Tape delay type stuff, right? If you don't do it, you should try it. Really works wonders, makes the game go by a whole lot faster when you can just fast forward through the commercials and such. I get caught up in like the fourth quarter or something like that. I just don't check Twitter, right? Real simple stuff. So I'm going to PetSmart because it turns out that my little dog, you feel me? My little, little Sheba, my little Sheba Inu, right? She's got fleas, right? So we're freaking out. We don't know what's going on. Crazy stuff, right? So we had to go to PetSmart because we had to get like this like special cream and then we've got to get this like this like a, a dog body wash for fleas or something like that. And then we got a couple other things. But while we're making that trip, the game's going on. And I'm talking to my partner saying like, hey, yo, I know you don't care, but I'm gonna keep it a diet with you. The Nets really should go undefeated. I mean, the schedule looks just, just so easy. Like, like, like Mr. Softy Soft type type um, um activity that we're embarking upon. And I'm talking all this trash in the car, like, you know, it's going to be all good. Then here comes the fourth quarter. I'm sitting there like this at bum headquarters, just trying to figure out what's going on. And my partner just looks at me and says, I thought you said it was going to win. And I'm just like, well, I thought so too. I thought so too. My dog's over there itching in the corner. She looking at me confused, like, wah, 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 wah. and then the subtitle said, I thought you said it was going to win. And I'm just like, wah, wah, wah. and the subtitle said, well, they're just bums.
I just, I just don't understand it. How, how can we not be the magic? How can we not be the magic? How can, how can, how can we win in overtime against the Nugget? No, who was it? The, the T Wolves, right? We beat them in overtime. We beat the Nuggets in Denver. We, 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 we destroy the Heat, and then we can't beat Orlando. For anyone who's paying attention to the standings, which honestly should be everyone at this standpoint, we didn't lose our sixth seed. Um, I guess in a way, maybe it's good that it's looking like we're going to permanently be in this sixth seed because I don't want to pass the Knicks to get to the fifth seed because I don't want to see the Cavaliers. I don't want to do that. I would much rather see the Sixers. I think we've got a better chance of catching the Sixers sleeping than uh, the, 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 the Cavs. I would rather that be someone else's problem, to be quite honest with you. So as far as the seeding goes, at least we didn't move. It just makes things tighter and more interesting in the long run, but it's just... This team is just so frustrating, and I hope they get it together soon. I will check the app just real quick because I want to know what Spencer Dinwiddie did. I feel like he didn't score. I might be incorrect on that, but I feel like Buddy didn't score. So let me just check the app real quick, and then we're going to introduce a new segment on the channel that um, I'm doing now that I wanted to start the video with, but I had to rant real quick because Jacques Vaughn deserves to be behind bars, but that's not here or there. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll go to the box score. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie had two points. He was 0 for 11, 0 and 6 from three, but hit two free throws. I had a feeling he had a terrible game. I, I, I had a feeling. They, they all played terrible. Honestly, outside of, uh, Mikel Bridges and, um, Cam, yeah, they, they all kind of sucked. Jesus Christ, this this is just so pathetic looking. And some people would say like Claxton didn't play well. I felt like Claxton played fine, but that's not even there. He was kind of getting eaten up, just a teensy bit by Wendell Carter. It's like it's like them 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 young folks be giving him trouble. Like the vets, he got it. But when it's like another like young gun, except for Jared Allen, of course, he be a little shaky. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I still mess with Claxton. But that's not even there. Um. What's I book to do next? Oh, let's introduce a new segment on the channel. And we're doing this. And again, I wanted to start the video out with this, but I was um, I was unable to because they lost. I was not expecting them to lose. This segment is uh, going to be called uh, Sever the Bond Mail Time. Mail Time with Sever? I like Mail Time with Sever. Let's do that. Welcome to Mail Time with Sever. Now, I am doing this because um, since we've been doing the... Um, the whole tankathon thing. I've been having to read the comments, which I normally don't do, but I've been having to do it because I want to make sure that we're on the same page moving forward. So I have to see what your feedback has been. But there was a comment on last night's video that was like so, so analytical and so beautiful. I've decided to read it aloud. And I'm going to try to do that for every video going on, you know, here throughout. So if there is a, a comment you would like to be read on camera, hopefully it's a appropriate of some kind, feel free to leave it down below. And I will try to do this every video. I probably won't. I'll probably forget. But assuming I remember, this is a segment we will do sporadically. Hopefully it doesn't turn into the Harris huddle, but that's not a hint of there. Anyway, let me read this comment. Where was it? Uh, da, 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 da. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? It was a really nice comment. Uh, this one. Okay. It's from um, Alberto Olivia, I think. Terrible at reading comprehension, but I think that's homie's name. So let's go. Um, we're going to skip the really long one and go to the specific things. Um, if I was the Nets coach, the starters would be number one, Cam Thomas, or what I like to refer to him as Sub-Zero because he's a cold, lethal assassin when it comes to attacking the other team uh, head on without a single hesitation while creating his own shots and scoring. Love that. Number two, Edmund Summer or Flash. This guy is one of the fastest players I've ever seen in my life, and he would risk it all to score. He's also an excellent three-point shooter. Number three, Nick Claxton or the Iron Man because he looks like he's made of steel. He's physic he, he physically collides routinely against the biggest man in the 
of the biggest men in the sport and walks out completely ineffective. Uh, what's more, he he has this incredible, surprising uh, uh, bill agility, 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 agility. I think that word says agility. Agility uh, to score in the paint at a moment's notice and plays great defense. Number four, Mikel Bridges or the Disco Bobblehead Man, because he can do both. He can score from virtually any distance and plays excellent defense. And number five, Royce O'Neal, or he calls it the Magic Man O'Neal or O'Neal or Utah, the Samurai Watanabe. That one might be a little racist, but that's not here there. Um, uh, they can both hit three-point shots consistently. And they can also play defense. So basically what he's throwing out there is he thinks the starting lineup should be Sumner at one, Cam Thomas at two, Bridges at three, Royce O'Neal, or Utah, you feel me, and Claxton. I just I just like the detail of the comment and I like that they were like nicknames and stuff. I shouldn't have read the samurai one, but that's just me having poor reading comprehension. But I I, I just thought it was a good comment and I just wanted to, to just bring it to everyone's attention that there are very interesting points being made and y'all do bring up really good points and um, I think you should be a bigger part of the show and such. So I will try to at least read one of your comments on camera for uh, our, our, our editions of Mail Time with Sever. I think that's what we're going with. I think we're calling it Mail Time with Sever. I feel like I feel like it's gonna be called something different in every video, but that's not here and there. Personally, I like that idea. I have no issue with it. Anything that involves Cam Thomas or um, Claxton in the starting lineup is something I'm absolutely here for. I think it's very interesting having Spencer Dinwiddie come off the bench, which is honestly where he belongs, even though I do think he carries at times. It's very interesting to have him come off the bench and have Sumner starting. It's very interesting. Um, I think it's on the slick a good idea because then you have that scoring punch off the bench because Spencer can be the, the, the six man and do his thing off the bench. I'm here for it. I don't, I, again, I wasn't here for the D-Lo days, but I assume that's what your lineup was before, wasn't it? Wasn't it like D'Angelo, Russell, Karis LeVert, um, who, who was your, Rondé Hollis, Jefferson, was he the starting three, or was it Dorian Prince, or, I don't know, I don't know. Who is who is your who is your starting lineup? But let's look that up. Uh, we'll go with we'll go off we'll go with the playoffs. Here. I feel like maybe Jared Dudley was starting or something. I don't know. Let's look this up. Um, Nets two thousand. What was that? Nineteen. Uh, playoff starting. That's not how you spell starting. Starting lineup. Um, okay, the starting lineup was Jared Allen. Oh, Joe Harris. Why do I always forget Joe Harris? Joe Harris, Karis LeVert, Torian Prince, and I'm going to assume D'Angelo Russell? Did he, did he not play? Did he not play? Hmm. Starting lineups. Uh, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to figure this out. Um, let's go to the last one. Y'all had so many starting lineups that that that's impossible to keep up with. Okay, well, J Joe Harris is probably at the three. So let's start that over. D'Lo, Karis, Joe Harris, Torian Pr Prince, or Rondé Hollis Jefferson. I feel like he came off the bench at times. And then Jared Allen. Who was the fourth? Somebody leave down below. What was like the main starting? I know there was like multiples, but what was the main starting lineup that year? Who 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 was the four? Because I'm assuming, I'm assuming the first three are D'Lo, Karis, Joey, question mark, Jared Allen. Who was the four? Let me know down below. I'm not super familiar with that era of the Nets, so y'all will have to educate me on that, but that's not even there. I came here in the bubble, so you will have to educate me on what happened before all the shenanigans, but that's not even there. Anyway, I got severely off topic. Um, 
but to what the comments said, I like the idea of Spencer Dinwiddie coming off the bench. Uh, apparently, that's what y'all were doing before, so I am here for that. I think that's a very good idea, and I don't see the harm in starting Sumner. I think Sumner is good enough. I think he can handle his business, and I think he's become a very good three-point shooter. Couldn't have said that at the beginning of the year, but towards right now, which I think he's doing a good job, and uh, I really don't see a need for um, Cam Johnson, and I don't really see a need for Finney Smith, but that's neither here nor there. Um, let me know your thoughts on tonight's game. Um, oh, we also have to continue the tankathon. Uh, tonight's not going to be a specific player; it's going to be a coach. Jacques Vaughn, keep him or leave him. Now, again, we're going to subtract logic from the equation because we just gave him the extension. So pretend like we didn't and someone was just walking up to you saying, it's up to you, person watching this video. Does he go or does he stay? Let's say you get the call from Sean Marks and he's asking you, what do we do? Leave it down below. You all know what I think the answer is, but I want to know what yours is. Let me know down below. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. I am going to go eat some salmon. Ah. <sighs> You're on Nets Republic. I'm Sever the Bond. I think I just cracked a rib. <laughs>